Maxmatic set out to build the memory for his Squirkator, the great ancestor of our computers, using the Squirks. For those of you who want to become famous computer scientists, note that Maxmatic Squirks correspond to what we call a basic memory cell in a computer, with a certain number of transistors. But the principle is the same. It can only take on one of two electrical states, which, by convention, are called electrical state zero and electrical state one. It would take too long to draw all those transistors, so let's get on with our story. And the squirks. The question then is, can a reliable memory be built using squirkic cells that can remember only two things, zero or one? In fact, I could decide that zero corresponds to cat and one corresponds to dog. In which case, I'd put a thing called an encoder at the input of the squirkator. And if I press the dog key, the encoder turns it into a one, and the squirk memory switches to state one. At the output, I'd have a thing called a decoder. So when I'd ask what was in the squirk memory, the decoder would light up the picture of the dog. And the same goes for the cat. But remember, at no time was there really a dog or a cat in the memory of the squirk, all right? All that there was were two electrical states that, by convention, are called zero and one. In the same way, I could also decide that the letter A corresponds to electrical state zero and B to electrical state one. When I press the A key, the encoder sets the memory to electrical state zero. And when I ask what's in my squirk memory, the decoder lights up the letter A. However, a memory that can only remember A or B isn't really big. And this is where Maxmatic had a stroke of genius. If you put two squirks side by side, there are four possible combinations, right? So now, let's say that 0, 0 corresponds to A, 0, 1 to B, 1, 0 to C, and 1, 1 to D. With a cleverly wired encoder, my two squirks can memorize the first four letters of the alphabet. That may not seem like much, but Maxmatic came up with the idea of grouping much, much larger blocks of squirks. And next time, we'll see what the result was.